All right, so I made a test this morning. Uh, Hunter Architect uh, we have here up is Hunter. He's controlled and down is then Lengthy Architect. You can see how this one looks. I think this uh, test was uh, quite fair. And uh, also here we have at the start the slow mode to make sure that it is a fair start. See that it is synced, it's synced, it's synced. There we go. They are, uh, I think, on par here. And they go, they go, they go. So who's quicker, who's quicker? Let's see now. Who's going to reach the halfway line first? That is definitely Hunter. That is definitely Hunter. I think this is a clear difference. And this is around 50 meters. And in the game, I mean, you're going to see rarely, I think, never ever a distance from a player that is longer than 50 meters. That's half the pitch. So from this moment, what comes here after is not relevant, I think. Uh, it will not be used in the game, but we can still see what happens then for the full length as well. Hunter against Architect, is he going to catch up? Lengthy? Nah, he's now even more behind. So I think here this one proves that the key is still the sprint speed and still the pace over running type. But of course, if you have someone like Holland, you give him Hunter, he will be 99 pace and also lengthy. That is, of course, extra boost. But for these guys, players like Benzema, Cristiano, if you want them as quick as possible, I think the best is still Hunter. Or I don't think so. I know. They are quicker. Hunter is quicker. I think this test here was quite fair. It was quite accurate. But yes, uh, if you have someone that is like, 60 sprint speed and lengthy he will still be quite slow he will not break Usain Bolt's record